week's lesson is 7, 3, and 7, 4, Equations with Fractions. All of these equations we're going to be solving for x, and they're all going to have fractions in them. That's the idea. Now, we could get a common denominator and combine and add like terms and do that, but we'd really rather deal without the fractions if possible. And so in order to do that, what we're going to do is look at our denominators and find a common denominator. What's a number that 2, 4, and 6 all go into? Well, they all go into 12. So we're going to multiply by 12 on both sides. When we multiply by 12, we distribute it to both pieces here, as well as both pieces over here. Well, 12 times x is 12x. And then we need to do 12 times 3x over 2. So 12 over 1 times 3x over 2. Look for what cancels. This should always cancel. This denominator should. That's why we chose a common denominator. And 6 times 3x is 18x. So 12x minus 18x equals. Now we're going to multiply the 12 times the 3x over 4. We can simplify just like before. 4 goes into 12 three times, and 3x times 3 is 9x. So 9x, bring down our minus sign, and now we need to do 12 times 5 sixths. All of these you're not going to need to write them out to the side, but I'm just doing it so you can see it at least through the first time. That's 10. And now you have a linear equation. Once you have a linear equation, you, you can use your normal steps. Combine like terms. Move all your x's to the same side. That kind of thing. So here we have 12x minus 18x is negative 6x. I'm going to go ahead and move my x's to the same side. So subtract 9x. Negative 15x equals negative 10. I know you guys would like to move the 6x because it's negative, but it doesn't matter. Divide by negative 15. Since it doesn't go in evenly, we just simplify the fraction to two-thirds. And since they were both negative, we end up with a positive two-thirds. All right, for this next equation, we have fractions again. So in order to get rid of the denominator, we're going to look at 3, 7, and 5 and find a common denominator. Since 3 and 7 and 5 have no common factors, our common denominator is just going to be to multiply them. So 3 times 7 is 21, times 5 is 105. So we're going to use 105 as our common denominator. And instead of actually getting a common denominator and adding the fractions, remember, we're just going to multiply both sides by that. Now we're going to multiply. 105 times our first fraction. 3 goes into 105 35 times. So we're going to do 35 times what's left up here. x plus 4. Minus, now we need to distribute it to the second thing. This is still just 105 when we multiply it times the second fraction. So 7 goes into 105 15 times. So now I'm going to do 15 times x, so minus 15x. So we multiply times both of those fractions. I'm going to multiply times this fraction. 5 goes into 105 21 times. If you want to come out to the side and do all this fraction multiplication out here, that's fine. So now I need to do 21 times my x plus 7. Now you're back to a linear equation like you had before. You need to distribute. You need to combine like terms. So here we get 35x plus 35 times 4 is 140 minus 15x equals, and distribute again over here, 21x plus 147. Now if I combine my like terms, I have 20x over here plus 140 equals 21x plus 147. You're just using all of your basic pre-algebra skills. Subtracting 20x from both sides, 
Subtract 147 to get it to the other side. Negative 7 equals x. And that's it. Now they get to be a little bit more complicated where you have fractions outside of sets of parentheses. But the idea is the same. You only look at I want this. You only want to look at the fractions out in front. That's what you're looking for the common denominator for. The common denominator for 5 and 3 is 15. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 15. When I multiply, since this is 15 times 2 thirds times x minus 1, I only multiply the 15 times the 2 thirds. So 3 goes into 15 5 times, times 2 is 10. So 10 times, and the x minus 1 is going to stay the same. Then I do my 15 times my 1 fifth. A fifth of 15 is 3, so minus 3 times, and my parentheses are going to stay the same again, equals 15. Now that you're here, you can go ahead and distribute 10x minus 10 minus 6x plus 9 equals 15. That's a linear equation, so you'd keep going from there. I'm going to go ahead and stop on that one, but you would complete it. All right, on this one, we're looking at just the fractions out in front. 2 fifths, 5 sixths, and because this one over here is a fraction, we're going to look at that too. We need a common denominator for 6 and 5 and 15, which is going to be 30. Multiply both sides by 30. Now, what are you going to want to multiply the 30 by? You're going to multiply it times the 2 fifths and times the 5 sixths. That's it. So 5 goes into 30 six times, times 2 is 12. X plus 3 halves. It's okay that we have a fraction in there. We'll mess with it in a minute. 30 times 5 6. The 6 goes into 30 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. Times 2x plus 1 equals 15 goes into 30 twice. So negative 88. Now we can go ahead and distribute. And when we distribute here with the 12, we have 12x but we get 36 halves, so that becomes 18. And our fraction went ahead and went away on its own. We didn't have to worry about it later. So minus 25 equals negative 88. And now you have a linear equation that you can solve by combining like terms and getting x by itself.